Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a scatter plot with an identity line or sometimes known as a reference line, that's this one, going from 0, 0 to um, 100, 100 in this case, but that can uh, vary. Um, using Python 3 and specifically I'm using here Jupyter Lab. So I'm going to scroll all the way back up. Uh, this is the type of visualization which I would use if I have two scale variables and they're paired. Now I already have a video on a scatter plot, so this is just a small addition to get that identity line in. I do need an example data for that. I'll use pandas to load the data as a pandas data frame. So I import pandas first. If you've never used the package before, you can usually install it using exclamation sign pip install or whichever other method you like to use to install packages. I can then load the data using read CSV and head will show me the first five um, records in there. So I have before and after and actually there's a D which is simply the difference between the two but I'll only need the before and the after. To create the diagram I'll also be needing uh, the pi plot so and I'm gonna load that as PLT which is quite conventional to do. The regular scatter plot can be done with simply PLT then dot scatter and then the two fields that I want. Um, we can improve it a little bit with uh, adding, for example, some transparency, uh, labeling the axis, which is usually always a good thing to do. Always try to label your axis. Um, for the reference line now, um, I do like that to start at 0, 0, so that's not an issue. And I need the maximum of all the possible scores. So I'll simply uh, determine the maximum of before the maximum of after and then take the maximum again out of those so that's the overall maximum will get uh, and in this case that was a 98 so then I can do the exact same as before so this is the same part but now I add this little line here which is simply a plot that starts at a 0 a 0 and ends at um, the maximum maximum so the 0 comma ma uh, my max and 0 comma my max and that will actually say that there's one 0 0.00 and one point my max my max and because it's plot it will draw a straight line through that so I can do that in one go and here we have the result so anything above this line in this case would mean that the after score was higher than the before score for that case and uh, or respondent or employee don't know what they were and um, anything below this line the before was apparently higher than the after so that gives a bit of an indication if um, if indeed uh, if it falls far apart of this if everybody if nobody would change then it would have all been on this line all right uh, that was it i hope this was helpful and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching